O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him, still the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Hello everyone and welcome to our annual crib service on Christmas Eve here at St Margaret's Church in Durham. The Lord be with you. We're going to begin by hearing a reading from the Bible. This reading was written hundreds of years before Jesus was born and it's a reminder that for centuries people had been looking forward to the coming of a saviour, of a very special person, to help them and to be with them. It's a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, and it's going to be read by Michael. The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, King of Peace. To you be praise and glory forever. The new light of your incarnate word gives gladness in our sorrow and presence in our isolation. Fill our lives with your light until they overflow with gladness and praise. Blessed be you, God, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Now you might need to use a bit of imagination as we reimagine the story of Bethlehem here in Durham. This is the world that God loved. This is the town that stood in the world that God loved. This is the inn that stood in the town that stood in the world that God loved. This is the stable that stood in the inn that stood in the town that stood in the world that God loved. This is the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. This is the mother whose baby was born and laid in the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. This is the angel blowing his horn to tell of a mother whose baby was born and laid in the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. These are the shepherds, all tattered and torn, who heard the angel blowing his horn to tell of a mother whose baby was born and laid in the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. This is a sheep newly shorn, who arrived with the shepherds all tattered and torn, who heard the angel blowing his horn to tell of a mother whose baby was born and laid in the manger, that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. This is the cow that chewed the corn, who watched with the sheep newly shorn, who arrived with the shepherds all tattered and torn, who heard the angel blowing his horn to tell of a mother whose baby was born and laid in the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. These are wise men who brought gifts in the morn, who knelt with the cow that chewed the corn, who watched with the sheep newly shorn, who arrived with the shepherds all tattered and torn, who heard the angel blowing his horn to tell of a mother whose baby was born and laid in the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. Carpenter Joseph, his hands well worn, welcomed the men who brought gifts in the morn, who knelt with the cow that chewed the corn, who watched with the sheep newly shorn, who arrived with the shepherds all tattered and torn, who heard the angel blowing his horn to tell of a mother whose baby was born and laid in the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world, that God loved. This is the king with the crown of thorn, who loved old Joseph, his hands well worn, and loved the wise men who brought gifts in the morn, and loved the cow that chewed the corn, as well as the sheep newly shorn, and loved the shepherds, all tattered and torn, who heard the angel blowing his horn, and who loved his mother. For us he was born, and laid in the manger that stood in the stable, that stood in the inn, that stood in the town, that stood in the world that God loved. Away in a manger 
no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky Look down where he lay, the little Lord Jesus, asleep in the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky, and stay by my side until morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. Usually during the crib service, everyone would come through the Lady Chapel and be given a Christingle. This year I've just got the one Christingle. Here it is. I'm going to use it to help us say our prayers this evening. Of course, it's uh, made of an orange with a red ribbon and a candle and sweets. Oh no, I've eaten them. Oh dear, I'm sure you wouldn't eat the sweets on your Christingle before the end of the service. Never mind, I'm going to use it anyhow as we say our prayers together now. Let us pray. Dear God, as we look at the orange, we're reminded of the world. We pray for the world. We pray for all the people in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The red ribbon reminds us that Jesus died and that he showed his love for us all on the cross. Lord, we remember people who have died during this year. We think of anyone we may have known or heard about. We give thanks for the love that they showed us and for the love which we continue to share among family, friends, neighbours and those with whom we share our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
So we look at these sharp sticks. We remember the sweets that are on the Christingle. Lord, when times are tough, help us to remember the good things of life. Help us to share signs of hope with one another. We remember the things that have given us joy and hope and encouragement through this difficult year. Help us to carry those good things forward and to share them with other people in the year that lies ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The candlelight reminds us of Jesus Christ, a light for the world. Lord, we pray for anyone who is struggling at the moment, for people who are experiencing dark and difficult times. We pray for them and for all of us, for light in the darkness. And we pray at this Christmas time as we celebrate Jesus, the light of the world, that we would rejoice in the light that came into the world through him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And I invite you to join with me in the words of the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. The words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. A final prayer of blessing. May the joy of the angels the eagerness of the shepherds, the excitement of the wise men, the love of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas time, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you always. Amen. Silent night.